Hi, welcome to YWM Communications tutorial of the Kentico content management system of how to edit and update your content. Uh, upon successful login, you'll be taken to the root page or home page of your website, um, which is usually the one by the globe here. Um, on the left hand pane, all the pages. On the right hand side uh, is the live preview of what the website will look like. The layout, navigation, and web parts have all been predetermined and laid out by your web developer over at Wide Open Communications. So you shouldn't have to worry about any of that part. Only thing you should be worrying about is what the page says. Um, so in this example here, I'm taking the About Us page. And what we can do then is pretty much uh, you select it from over here on the left here. And then on the right, the page refreshes to show you what the page looks like thus far. What we can do then is just go over here and scroll down. And what we'll do is after this last line here, we'll hit enter, which takes us down to the next line. And we'll get to put two enters, give it a little space. But then here's where you put in your content of what you want the page to say. Um, you know, you make it say content about the NYSSA website. Blah blah blah. Now um, you can see the font doesn't match the rest of the font. This is where formatting comes into play. Uh, your developer, Wide Open Communications, has already made a pre-built cascading style sheet to handle situations like this. To make this fall into place, make it align right and everything, what we're going to do is highlight everything. And then in the format here, we're going to drop down and hit normal. When we hit that, you can see that it put it into a nice smooth Verdana font. It moved it over, gave it some padding. Now it's right under, it's in line with everything else. And now, even though after you already did that, any text that you add now will still be under the same uh, formatting setting. Um, you know, now uh, you can also um, add images. Say, just break down two lines here. Um, over here, this little mountain image here is an image. When you click that, it'll bring up a window uh, for you to browse and, and put in whatever images you want. From this window as well, we'll be able to upload images. Um, so say, you know, uh, URL here, you hit browse server, this opens up a window uh, on your server of all the, d uh, the files available. So if we go to images here, hit the plus here, you can see all the images that are available here. Say, you know, the image that you want to put in there isn't up yet. No problem. Up here, there's an upload file icon. You click that, it's going to bring up yet another window, lots of windows. Upload file, we're going to hit browse. And from here, uh, whatever uh, image you want to upload would be located in here. So, so you know, say we use this web banner. If you want to put in a file description, you can. Then hit save. What this is going to do is uh, create a record within the database, and this is the image that we just uploaded here. So now, this, since this is the same window that we wanted to to uh, to add an image, uh, we're just going to click this. And uh, I guess we can close this then. Our server images here's the file we just uploaded oh then the link here sorry about that there's a link here that says paste image we're going to click that then it's going to put it in there you can get a light preview of what it's going to look like hit ok and then the banner we just uploaded is right there if you don't want that you can just click it and if you press your delete key it takes it right out and you can back up go back into our, our text up here and then we can add more text if needed um, also within this, you can also um, make a bullet list, just like Microsoft Word, if you've used that or, or anything else you've used to. But you can make a, you know, list one, list two, list three. If you enter twice, it should take you out of there, and then you're back down here. More newer, new newer, newest content. Then once again, whenever you type, if you highlight that, you want to format it to normal. Everything's looking spick and span. And feel free just to uh, you know alter you know your alignments or whatever. When you have everything edited the way you want it to look, look sharp up here. You're gonna hit save. 
and that is going to implement all your changes that you just made. Page will refresh because it has to write everything to the database and update the page and stuff like that. But that is uh, that is editing uh, the main content of any page through the Kentico Content Management System. Um, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to call area code 717-337-2424 or email us at info at wideopen.net. Thank you very much. Have an excellent day. Take care.